Measuring current is a great way to check how a circuit works in its normal operation. We use it a lot to diagnose different problems and look for different issues on cars. Using current measurements and volt drop testing are a great way to do dynamic tests. There are really two primary ways that I can measure current with a DVOM or a multimeter. One of those is to use the built-in current function. And so this one, I've got it set up on amps. And the way that this works is that it's gotta be put in series with whatever the load is that I wanna measure. So in the case of this board, I've got my light bulb plugged in. I've got one lead taking on the ground side of that bulb. The other lead is going to the ground to complete the circuit. When I get all that set up and I've got my meter placed in amps, there I see that that light bulb draws 0.25 or so amps worth of current. This is one of the ways that we can measure current. It's a great reliable one because I can hardwire it and I've got a lot of confidence that the number is going to be accurate. The other popular method is to use what's called an amp clamp. This inductive amp clamp looks at the magnetic fields that are generated by current flow through a wire and interprets that to a reading so that we can see how much current has gone through that circuit. Here are two different examples of amp clamps. This one goes up to about 60 amps in the red. This black fluke one goes up to about 400. Usually when you go to size these, you can tell by the opening here where the wire is going to go, what the range is going to be. Small opening is going to take a much smaller wire and have a bit more limit. So we're going to set up this amp clamp and see how it compares to my meter that's hardwired. This particular one requires that I plug it into a DVOM to get a reading. It's going to output in millivolts, and so it displays here at the bottom and tells me what that conversion is. I've got to start by going to millivolts on my meter. First, we've got to zero it, so I've got to turn it on. We're going to select the lower scale because we know that we're not working with a lot of current. I've got to press the zero button until I get close to zero. And then I've got to put this around one of the wires that is carrying the current. So I'm going to use the wire up top here. With everything hooked up, I'm getting very similar numbers. I've got about 2.51 amps on my hardwired meter current measurement, and the amp clamp is showing about 0.2499 or 250. And so they're very, very consistent. The upsides of the amp clamp is that I don't have to open a circuit. And so if I want to do something like a parasitic drain measurement, I can do that without having to unplug and disrupt circuits and disrupt power to modules, which can make that process take longer. I do have to be mindful about how I place this on the wire and whether or not I lay it against other components. And so if I'm near an ignition coil or something else, an electric motor, anything that's gonna generate magnetism could disrupt how this reads. And so if I'm working near, say, a fuse box and I plug this into one wire, but it's next to another high current wire, those are just things I'm gonna have to think about.